Hi everybody. Today I'm going to read a book called I Am Small and it's by Quinn Ling. My name is Mimi. I am very small. I might as well be called Minnie. It's true. At home, Daddy, Mommy, Nicholas, and Marie are all taller than me. So is it Gus, our dog. It's the same thing at school. All my friends tower over me. And the sidewalks are the worst. I wouldn't be surprised if nobody noticed me. Being small really bugs me. When will I grow big enough to take up as much space in the world as everyone else? My feet barely reach the edge of the seat on the bus, and I bounce all over the place on the way to school. Look at him bouncing. At Olivia's bakery, I can't even see all the pretty desserts in the display case. Just imagine the trouble I have picking out the nicest cake. That's a trouble. At Pete's butcher shop, the sausage links are longer than me, I checked. At Jack's Fish Market, the catch of the day stares at me with its big, bulgy eyes, ready to swallow me up in one gulp. And in class, I can only reach the bottom of the blackboard. It's annoying, especially when I have a lot I want to write. Why are you complaining, Remy asked me the other day. You're always first in the cafeteria line, and you get the biggest piece of cake. When I try to hurry to the front of the line, I end up bumping into everybody, he said. You always win at hide and seek, Annie told me later. I wish I could squeeze into small hiding places like you can. I'm always the first to be found. And you're always in the front row for class pictures, Celeste added. I have to stand in the back, even when I wear my favorite shirt, the one with the funny Yeti, and you can only see my head. At home, Nicholas said, I envy all your small secret places. Mine always gets in someone's way in the kitchen or the living room. But they just don't get it. I'm frustrated because they can do a lot more stuff that I can't because I'm so small. Isn't it obvious? Oh, he looks grumpy. But, well, if I think about it, it's possible that there are some advantages to being small like snuggling in bed between mommy and daddy, or playing nights with Gus, or practicing for the synchronized swimming championship in the bathtub, my pretend pool. One day after school, daddy comes to get me. He's all bright eyed and smiley. There's a surprise at home, he tells me. A surprise? I love surprises. What could it be? A real life swimming pool? A hot air balloon? The biggest piece of cake in the world? And when I get home, I throw my bag on the floor and run to my room. The surprise is in here, Daddy says, pointing to his and Mommy's bedroom. At first, I don't notice anything. Then I see him, all pink and a little wrinkled, like me when I stay in the bathtub too long. Matt. Meet Max, your little brother, Mommy whispers. He's super small, I say. Of course, he's brand new, Mommy says. You started out like this too, you know. Very small, and look at you now, a big sister. Mommy's right. So whispering carefully, because Max's ears are also very small, I tell him, just be patient, and one day you'll be big too. The end. Oh, look how cute that is. The little guy's climbing all over him. That's so much fun. Or all over her. The end. All right. Have a great day, guys. Bye.